and welcome back to the second Andrew Weedman podcast. This one will feature me talking about the Philadelphia Eagles and how you cannot expect them to be as terrible as they were last year. So if you do think that that the Philadelphia Eagles will win four games next year, you need to just stop. There's no way that the Eagles falter again this season. And sure, a coaching change never works out fantastically in the first year, but Chip Kelly is a stud and he knows how to coach. And the Eagles probably do have their best offensive line they've had since the days of Trey Thomas and John Runyon. Jason Peters is back to solidify that left tackle position. Travis Kelsey is also back to take the center position. And the addition of drafty Lane Johnson to play right tackle not only protects Vicks blindside, but he does also offer that athleticism to play anywhere on the line. And these guys, along with guards Todd Harrimans and Evan Mathis, make for a very solid Eagles offensive line and one of the best in the league. And also, forget any conflict about who should be the starting quarterback. This is Michael Vick's job, and deservedly so. Also, this year should be much better with a 100% healthy LaShawn McCoy, Jeremy Macklin, and Deshaun Jackson. The Eagles also dipped into free agency this offseason and got former Tampa Bay Buccaneer Aurelius Ben in free agency to add depth to a receiving core that also features Jason Avant and Riley Cooper. So the depth at the wide receiver position for the Eagles is absolutely tremendous. And as if they didn't have enough weapons offensively, they went out and drafted tight end Zach Ertz out of Stanford. Ertz is big and strong, and with Brent Selleck, they make a solid tight end core that will thrive in the spread offense. So now, that is eight key weapons that Michael Vick can use. And getting to Michael Vick, now who takes over if he gets injured? I mean, you know that's bound to happen. Vick hasn't played a full season since his days in Atlanta. So who, who fits the need at the backup slot? You know, some people say Nick Foles, some say uh, rookie quarterback Matt Barkley, but I'm here to tell you it's neither of them. Barkley, and especially Foles, don't fit into the spread offense. The answer lies in the quarterback they picked up into free agency, Dennis Dixon. Now, some remember Dixon as a backup to Ben Roethlisberger and Charlie Batch in Pittsburgh, but now he should fit in as being Michael Vick's backup. Dixon did play college football at Oregon under Chip Kelly, so he fully knows how to run this offense. Expect him to back up Vic this coming season and look for the Eagles to trade Nick Foles for a draft pick or two. And now, you have to look at the Eagles' biggest struggle in recent years, which is the defense. The defense has massively improved this year. They're switching from a 4-3 to a 3-4. And they did lose Jason Babin, which to me wasn't a smart move. However, they did go out and get Connor Barwin in free agency, so all seems good. And so, their linebacking core will be led by Trent Cole, Connor Barwin, Michael Kendricks, and D'Amico Ryans. So I don't know about you, but I'm thinking that's a very solid core group of players. And to go, go along with the defensive front of Isaac Sopoaga, Cedric Thornton, and Fletcher Cox, the Eagles' front seven is better than ever. And even bigger than the linebackers, the secondary underwent a major makeover this offseason. The Eagles dumped Dominique rogers Cromartie and Namdi Asama and totally rebuilt. Brady Fletcher was picked up as a free agent and is slotted as the number one corner. Kerry Williams comes over from the Ravens as the number two cornerback. And with the addition of Brandon Hughes to go, to go along with second-year players Curtis Marsh and Brandon Boykin, the cornerbacks are much better. And also, not to mention, the Eagles did draft a very underrated cornerback in Jordan Poyer in the seventh round of this year's draft. Brandon Hughes and Kerry Williams, in my eyes, will play a lot better than Namdi Asama and Dominic rogers Camardi, and are the best cornerback duo to come to town since Lito Shepard and Sheldon Brown. And lastly, looking at the safeties, the Eagles improved as well as they picked up Kenny Phillips from the Giants and Patrick Chung from the Patriots. So the Eagles much improved themselves this offseason, and you can expect them to reign supreme again in the NFC East and win 11 games. Now, the 11 games, that'll lead to a playoff berth, but they're just not quite Super Bowl ready. Their defense still is not one of the best in the leagues, and it may, ever, it may not ever be, but if they keep improving on both sides of the ball, in a couple years, you can expect them to win a Super Bowl.